Hey everyone, it's Cheryl from Teaching Two and Three Year Olds. We are on our last theme of the school year. I still can't believe it. I'm sure I say this every single year, but I really mean it this year. It feels like we should not be ready to end the school year yet. So our last theme is the beach and ocean theme. And so we have a lot of fun things going on with shells and fish and in a dramatic play area, we have an ice cream shop happening. So I'm gonna take you around and show you how our classroom is set up. And then I'm going to open the door so you can see how the children are interacting after they arrive. So on the light table, we have some plastic fish, colorful fish that we are sorting by color. Unfortunately, these are no longer available on Amazon. I got them five years ago and I love them. There's the name of the color is printed on each fish. But like I said, they've been unavailable now for a couple of years. So I keep trying to find a substitute and if I ever do, I'll let you guys know. At the science table, we are exploring shells, especially the sizes and the textures. Over in the dramatic play area, we have a, an ice cream shop happening. These are from a, our ice cream shop principal packet from Teachers Pay Teachers. So we've got all kinds of empty ice cream containers, and then we've got pom-poms that we're using as ice cream. We have our Melissa and Doug ice cream set. I'll link all this in the video's description. And then we have our cash register. And then there's some different gift cards and forms. Some of them are in the cash register as well. In our block area, we have some colorful fish that if this is an activity where you connect them. And then we also have some fish on our shelf, different ocean animals that they can bring out. On our activity table, we have this pom-pom uh, transfer activity. I think I got this, I think I got this off Amazon. If I find it, I'll link it. It was either that or I got it at the Dollar Tree. I've had it for quite a while now. And then we have some puzzles. I also have this activity here where they're, they're threading cut straws. And then this is a free Principle that's on the website where they're just matching up. I made two copies. They're matching it like that. We're starting off our theme by painting, well actually we're squeezing tinted glue onto the fish. This is a free template on the website and then they are going to be sticking, um, those are colorful tissue paper circles. They're gonna be pressing on top. In our sensory bin, we have kinetic sand and we have shells and we have shovels. And then over on our Play-Doh table, we have assorted fish cookie cutters and we have jumbo stamps that can be pressed into them. So now I'm gonna open the door and I'm going to invite the children in. Okay, so we are squeezing our glue, our tinted glue onto our fish. And then we're gonna put our pieces on. Day two and we are once again, painting frames. This one is gonna be for their class photo that we're gonna to take today. This is a little gift from me. So they, as a little reminder of their friends that they had during the school year. Wow, one other color? So this is where I like to use printables in different ways. I took this from our preschool under the sea activity plans. It was for something completely different, but I used it as a mat for the Play-Doh. We have straws that we're sticking in. This age group loves to press pieces into Play-Doh. Look at all the holes in there. 
Now you're going to slice it. I knew they were hiding somewhere. And this packet also comes in Spanish, so English and Spanish. They're singing I'm a little teapot next door. That's the sound of this pile. Right oh, yeah. here. Okay. Into my couch. What color? I need yes. it. How many? How many? Put it in. 
four, five. Everybody has a popsicle. Let me see it. Hold it down so I can see it. Oh boy. And Take a friend's hand, take a friend's right, hand to yeah. take a friend's hand, take a friend's hand to take a friend's hand, take a friend's hand to take a friend's hand, take a friend's hand. So we can go to the gym. Okay, we're now outside, last part of our day. Look at sunshine. You get to do the juice, okay? I think I want it. So that's how we have our classroom set up for our beach and ocean theme. Make sure to like this post, subscribe to Teaching Two and Three Year Olds, and press that bell icon so that every time I publish a new video, you'll be notified. Thanks for watching. We have several different activities from our ice cream shop packet that is on Teachers Pay Teachers. And even though that is primarily a dramatic play packet, we also have a couple of activities that can be either for the table as an independent activity or for circle time. So these are cards and it says how many cups or how many marshmallows, how many spoons, and then it comes with these cards. And so then you just, how many cones? One, and you just place the card there. How many spoons? Four, how many cherries? Five, so you would do this for all the cards and everything in the ice cream packet We also comes in Spanish as well. In our ice cream packet, we have this patterning activity where it shows the cone with the scoops of ice cream on the left, and then you recreate the ice cream pattern on the right. There's a page that has these ice cream scoops that you cut out, and then you just make the same pattern. In a dramatic play area, as I've mentioned before, we have our ice cream shop. So we're using our ice cream printables that are available on Teachers Pay Teachers. It's an ice cream shop packet and it has menus, signs, and it has order forms, gift cards, and labels. I have this free printable on the website. They are colored fish. And then I made enough so that the children each had a fish to hold. And they can hold these props while you sing fish songs. But I also have an activity that you saw earlier in the video where I made one set that goes on our magnetic board. And then the children came up and they matched their fish to the one that is on the board and they told me what color that it is. And also part of that same packet, the colored fish that are numbered up to 10, what I did was I again made a set for the board and then I made extra copies so that each child has one. And then the children can then come up and they can match their fish to the fish that are on the board. We have this free ice cream cone matching activity on our website. And there's different cards that you cut apart. And then you simply match each half to make a whole ice cream by matching the colors. We have this, these free alphabet cards. These are on the website. And what I like to do for our younger children is I make two copies, two sets. I keep one together and I separate the other set. So then they can just match them on top like that.
Once they've mastered that, you simply just have the halves and then they have to put them together. Another free principle we have on the website is this popsicle going from left to right. So just practicing touching the popsicle, using the writing tool to follow the curve or the line. We also have this fish template on a freebie on the website and you can use this to trace if you want to maybe use construction paper or some other type of paper or you can copy this directly onto like cardstock and then you can use it for an art activity and I'll drop a couple of links to some activities that we've done in the description of this video. Another freebie that we have on the website is this seahorse and in the past I've liked to use this with q-tips because they really have to control it's a nice fine motor activity and they as they color in each section but you can also use this with regular paint brushes with crayons with colored pencils um, with markers another free principle that we have on the website ocean count and clip cards so they would the children count how many fish are on the card they find that number and then they use a clothespin to clip it we have these free ocean counting cards on the website and I like to make two sets one I keep together and these go up to 10 and then I the other set I cut apart and then the children can just match them just like this and here's another free printable that is on the website this ice cream matching color matching where you just match up the colors just like this these cards from our tracing packet this is from the underwater section of that packet crab eel and clam that we are keeping over at our writing table i laminated mine so they can just use um, wipe off markers or just regular markers and you just wipe them clean when they're finished. In our toddler under the sea activity plans, we have a dolphin color sheet and we also have a bunch of other under the sea animals that you can use at the writing table. Also in our toddler under the sea activity packet, we have this fish matching activity, which you can do as a table activity, an independent activity, they're just simply placing the card on top. If you want this to be a circle time activity, you would make sure to make extra sets of the cards so that each child gets one. And then what you would do is you would place this on the carpet around in the middle of the circle and then each child will come up and place their fish on top of the matching colored fish. In our preschool beach and ocean activity packet, I pulled this activity out. This is supposed to be for something different, but if you've been following me for a while, you know that I like to take printables and use them in different ways. So I took this all by itself. As I said, it's part of a different activity, but I just wanted this page. I laminated enough and I'm using this at our Play-Doh table kind of as a mat for them to then, they can cut, use cookie cutter, fish cookie cutters, then they can cut out different fish to put on top of the mat. Make sure to check this video's description for the links to all these printables, plus printables that weren't shown in the video.